All right, toy collectors and connoisseurs, today we are going to take a look at the Snow Serpent from G.I. Joe Classified Series, from the G.I. Joe Classified Series. Uh, well, as everyone knows, it's the Cobra Faction. Um, I don't know what is going on over there at Hasbro with these winter weather wearing action figures, but wow is all I got to say. It's just wow. Let, let's get into it. Let, let me show you why the wow. So here's the box that you get. And I got this one from Big Bad. Big Bad happened to get a batch early because I ordered two, but I only got one. I don't know if that's happened to anybody else, but that's where I'm at. Hey, I'm just I'm just happy to get because everywhere else I went, they're sold out. And I didn't not, for this one. I didn't feel like going to the, uh, uh, you know, the the global market and, and, and paying, you know, a, a ton of money for. Uh, although, gosh, this. Well, we'll get into it in a minute. So here you have uh, Mr. Snow Serpent, which is a troop builder, one of many of the Serpents of Snow. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, sorry about that. I just, I'm a little happy about this figure. It, it's, anyways, let's get into it. You got a little, uh, you know, design here for or what's usually a computer generated uh, uh, concept of him. You got all of his gear right up here in the corner. Which, for a second there, I thought I didn't get a bazooka, but no, I, I did. I did. Uh, anyways, here you've got the concept comic book sketch of him. Um, let's see. Uh, number 93 in the line. That's what you have there on the side. On the back, look, I've never seen a figure with so much, so many accessories in G.I. Joe before. Which, I, I'm, I'm shocked. I, I mean, I absolutely love that he has this many accessories. It's, it's absolutely awesome. Um, he has, you know... Anyways, this is, we'll go over each one of those accessories bit by bit. Uh, there he is, another close-up of his uh, what he's got on his front there, on his harness, and then the side view of his head. Um, let's see what else is over here, and a little larger shot of the uh, you know comic book sketch or concept art there. So number ninety-three. There you go. Am I keeping this box? Nope. Anyways, let's get into it. Let's talk about. What I imagine this, um, sorry about that, about what this snow serpent to me is. Who is he? Well, in my imagination, just looking at him, um, I'm just kind of give you a kind of a background. Unlike a snow job or any U.S. soldier, Cobra is probably going to hire mercenaries. Mercenaries, uh, you know, are, you know, usually... Soldiers of fortune, soldiers that have been around a while, soldiers that have fought in battle, you know, some type of military background, or or maybe they're just civilians who've been in a hell of a lot of conflicts, right? But it, regardless, these are going to be veterans of some form of conflict or another, and these guys are tough as nails, right? Possibly more so than snow job. Oh, you know, don't don't get upset about that, and and I'll let you know why. Because, you know, from what I'm looking at here, you've got an individual who is absolutely kitted out to, to with his wits to go through a rigorous test, right? So Cobra probably goes and says, hey, that's your target of opportunity. We're going to drop you 50 miles out or maybe 100 miles out. Who knows? Uh, you know, I, I've known, you know, forced, you know, when... When I was at Bragg, we had forced ruck marches, right? And it, was, it wasn't it was unheard of for us to walk 25, 30 miles. It's, you know, it was a thing. Um, and it was a forced ruck and you walked it. Uh, well, you know, it wasn't a, 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 a skip along type of singing type of walk. I mean, you were hauling, you were moving. <laughs> so you would stop every now and then to, you know, take a break or drink some water, but maybe five or 10 minutes and then hit the road again, you were moving. So anyways, I imagine these guys are survival experts. They're hardcore mercenaries. They're not given, they're told to get into position by a certain time. They're dropped off way, way off in their targets. Uh, they they use the land uh, and the fauna around them. Uh, if they need additional gear or additional supplies, they use whatever they have uh, to take advantage of that. And you could see that here. These guys, you know, are just, you know, would I rather snow job or one of these guys with me? It looks like I might rather have one of these guys with me because it looks like these are tough and hardcore mercenaries. Cobra may not come or may or might come to come pick you up. 
So you're going to have to survive on your own. Here's your mission. Go get it done. And if you fail, guess what? You're a paid mercenary. Uh, you're not assigned U.S. soldier or, or, or G.I. Joe. You're just going to have to figure it out, bum. <laughs> because mercenaries are paid to win. They're paid for success. So these guys are probably super hard. And anyways, I've, I've rattled on long enough. That's why I think these guys are actually pretty awesome. So let's get into it here. So as I've done, I've kitted him out with, you know, with, with the most he can carry. And there's, there's a couple of pieces left of gear over here, but he comes with so much gear. It's almost impossible to get all that stuff on here. I mean, maybe he could, but it's, I mean, it's absolutely crazy. So let's start taking this off one by one. We'll go through the accessories first because he's so loaded down. So everybody's talking about this is timber. <laughs> oh, look, he came off with his little hat there, his little goggles. He does come with a set of goggles. There seems to be some sort of blue tint there, just a, just a smidge of blue tint. I don't know if you guys are capturing that or, or not, but there does seem to be a little bit of tint there. Uh, they're just goggles. Uh, very, very nice. You know, pretty, you know, textured there. You got some texture. You got some tint, some blue tint there. So those are his goggles right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, and again, you know, oh, I fainted. I mean, that's the thing with he's, he's loaded down this poor guy. And that's another thing about, you know, if you're living off the land, you're going to be given, you're going to be loaded down. So, you know, here's, he's got some really nice work there. I don't know if that, those gums would be pink. <laughs> I don't know if I'd have left any kind of flesh on this animal, uh, cause it might stink. So anyways, You've got the pelt there of this wolf. Um, you know, cool design here, but maybe not realistic. Uh, anyways, uh, is it timber? I don't know. You'd be the judge of it. Uh, I think it looks cool. Uh, it's got some extra detail work and some dry brush, or not dry brushing, but some highlights there. Very nice. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, might even be able to use it on, on some other figures. So I like it. Very nice. Um, let's see. What else does he come with? All right. Let's, let's take a look at the backpack real quick. The backpack comes loaded down almost like bazookas, right? You have, we're not going to take all this stuff off. This is basically bazookas, bazooka. Uh, you know, maybe with some different colors and stuff. Yes, this part comes off so that you can load a weapon in there or make believe you're loading something in there. Uh, it, 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 it uses the handle to secure it from the backpack. He's got his four, you know, um, missiles in the back there. And that's, that's about it. And that's about it for this little guy. It's a nice, you know, utilitarian backpack uh, with some extra stuff maybe back here. We've seen it before. It's Bazooka's backpack pretty much. So anyways, we'll set it down here. Uh, let's look, a look at, take a look at his pelt that he's wearing. Uh, uh, and the interesting part is that the pelt pegs into the back of the figure, but then there's an additional hole here where the backpack pegs into it. So that's how he's able to carry it and the pelt at the same time so that here's the the back of it again with some highlights and texturing very nice work uh, i can see now you know why it costs a little more this is a lot of uh, uh what i have preferred to have been you know i don't know in this case i don't know if i if i'm i'm okay with this this version of it um i always like soft goods over plastic but in this case for this one because a pelt would be pretty heavy uh it wouldn't move as much i mean I like it. Uh, very well done with this pelt. All right. Let's take a look. He's got some... We're doing this backwards a little bit because he's just loaded with stuff. Um, now I got Now his center of gravity is moved, so I got to stand him up again. And like Snow Job, he's got... Actually, I had these on backwards. It should be, I think, like this. Uh, like... Yeah, I think like this. And like Snow Job, he has these uh, snowshoes that he's wearing uh, so he doesn't sink into the snow and then he can't walk. Uh, so very nicely done. They're almost identical, I think, to snow jobs. So uh, that's what he's got there. Very satisfied with that. They peg into the right, right there into the bottom of his feet. So it looks great. He also comes with this, I don't know, looks like an AR-15, but it's a smaller one, a really small one, maybe. Maybe I'm crazy. Extendable stock, um, you know, it looks like a grenade launcher down here at the bottom. Although it doesn't have the little... 
kind of has it a little trigger down there. You see that? That's supposed to be a little trigger there if it's a grenade launcher. And then you can have like, and then th there's a, another thing that pops up so you can kind of see where you're shooting at. But anyways, um, so there you have his web. The clip uh, or the magazine does come out. So there's that. Is there a suppressor on it? I don't know. Uh, I, I never, the, the AR is about, I mean, I use an M16. So an AR is the closest civilian uh, uh, weapon to it. So it looks very close to it. So anyways, that's what you got there. Uh, he also comes with a pair of side service weapons, which I mean, this guy's loaded out. I mean, he's got one, two, three, four, five, and then six with the knife ways to kill you. <laughs> this guy is bristling with, with, with danger. He, man, this snow job, uh, I don't know what he's doing to take these guys out, but these guys are bristling with, with stuff. Anyway, so here's here's his little service weapon. Very nice. I mean, there's nothing super fancy about it. So I just dig that he's got two. Very nice. Very, very nice. So there it is right there. Um, and what else? What else does he have on him? Right. Okay, so we've gotten down to the base components. Let's finish going through the... Um, one of the coolest parts that he has is... Um, I would actually prefer this too. Uh, instead of with those skis that Snow Job has, I'd rather have a snowboard, tape truth. I like that little emblem that he has there. These peg right into his feet, as you saw in the action shots, and you've got some camo down here at the bottom as well. I think that's their logo, the Snow Serpent's logo. Yeah, there it is. It looks very cool, very nice. Man, the, the out of the ballpark. Whoever's designing these winter weather, uh, Joe's is killing it. Um, here's this other pistol. I, I don't know what this is. I think it's from the, um, I think this is one of those from the, uh, where they call it from the, from the cartoon, because I, I don't know what this is. Um, it's almost looks like snake Plissken because he's got a, <laughs> he's got a telescope on it. I don't know. Remember that ridiculous gun on escape from New York that snake Plissken had? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, it almost reminds me of that. Uh, what would make this gun better if it had a scope on it? Anyways, that's my ridiculousness coming out. All right. And then he has this knife as well. But the interesting part is what made me realize this is that you literally, he cannot carry all the, unlike snow job who can literally carry every piece of equipment that they've given him. Snow serpent cannot carry every little piece of equipment. He's going to have a few bits and pieces left over like this little knife. Uh, this little knife, I looked all over. I couldn't find a place to put it. Maybe you guys can, but I looked everywhere. I, I wasn't going to spend too much time looking for it, but I couldn't. Usually I can find it, but I couldn't find it. So he's got all this. Anything else? No, that's it. He's got all this equipment. That's an amazing chunk of equipment right there. And are these guys troop builders? Oh, heck yeah. I really like these. And, and I actually, again, I have two coming from... Amazon, two coming from Big Bad and this one. So I'm definitely, uh, and I am I took a chance on him and, and this one ended up being a winner. Uh, now let's take a look at his body right quick. He's got this, I love it when they put the emblem right on there. You know, just to make sure, don't get confused, don't, don't get it confused. He's, he's Cobra. And then he's got his little logo right there on the side, Snow Serpent logo. Very nice with the sculpting detail here. Very nice with the sculpting detail on his face, on his mask. Um, the harness, I wish they would have used a little more silver, uh, but that's okay. Uh, I like all this texturing here on the back, the har the harness, the harness is separate, but it, it's not coming off. It's not meant to come off. It is what it is. Um, he got his, his he's got two side arms. Again, I, I think he's got that because he's going to be alone for a long time and he's got to make do with whatever he's got. Uh, very nice sculpting on his legs, uh, his boots, winter weather gear there that he's got. Uh, just looks great. Just a great looking figure. So, what's that white stuff there? I guess his hands were white and they didn't spray that part right there. You see that? Just didn't get in. It's okay. I don't mind that because you're never going to see that anyways. Um, well, I just saw it. But again, I, I, don't, I don't, I'm not going to see that. So, you know, turn, turn it in if it bothers you. I don't know. So, um, yeah, that's what you have close up. I think they did a great work detailing it. And again, you want to minimize the color if you're, you know, Arctic weather or winter weather gear. Uh, you want to keep it very basic. You know, maybe, maybe 
mostly white, some black, and, you know, no green for sure. So anyways, uh, that's what it, this textures and it looks like there. Let's take a look at the articulation real quick. I was very impressed with how well he can look up, how well he can look down. Look at that. Just an amazing amount of ability there. And he can definitely look, look at that. Look at this. I know some Mafex figures that don't even have that. Just amazing work. That is amazing. Now, here's the part where we always fail. Do you think he's going to do the T-pose or stick it or mess it? Let's see. No, this guy completely rocked the T-pose. Look at that. No issues whatsoever on this one. Zero issues with it. Uh, he's got a cut there at the bicep. So no issues there. Double jointed, penless elbows. And he has a dice hand on this. And I didn't check this one. What is this one? Is this a dice hand or is this a come hither? I think it's... Is it dice? Yeah, this one's a dice hand too. So they're both dice hands, which is, I, I don't mind. Um, so there's that. Does he have a cut at the, he does have a cut up above, but he does, he's not really at the torso, but he's not really going to move much there, but it does provide you a little bit of turning there. Uh, he can do, he can kind of do the weeble wobble there side to side, which is very nice. Ooh, I didn't do this. Ooh, okay. It's given. It's giving. Okay. It's tight, but it's giving. I can feel it. So that I might have to add some oil later, but I feel like it's giving just night. Oh, I'm going to have to add some oil at some point. As if it's giving, but it's not giving as much as I'd like it to give. I hadn't messed around with that, but I can feel it giving. So I'm going to have to add some oil to that. Anyways, um, does he crunch? Let's see. Does he go back? Pretty good. Yeah. Does he go forward? He's hindered by this little bat this little harness thing that he has, this little bag in the front that he's got. But he can lean back pretty well. I really dig it. That's really, really, this is the, I mean, this is in, this is part of what he's wearing, right? Part of his winter, winter weather gear. I think I would even be handicapped by that. So that's fine. Um, drop down, hips, cut at the thigh, double jointed, penless knees. Uh, and let's see, a cut, at the ankle, very nice. The boot cut is way down here. Excuse me, the boot cut is way down here. Let's see, and he does have uh, ankle pivot down there, goes down that far, goes up, wow, look at that, that's tremendous. So down and up, that's amazing. That's really good. So anyways, yeah, this figure is amazing. You know what, and I, I mean, I'm not a shill, guys. I just call it like I see him. <laughs> Hasbro doesn't give me a doggone thing to say anything good about him. And I've actually beat him up pretty good. If you go back and look at some of my other videos, I mean, I beat the crap out of him for that white white queen. I think it was absolute junk because uh, I had to go back and fix it. Again, when it, when Hasbro does good, has, I'm going to say it. When, when they do crap, I'm going to say it. When Valiverse does bad, I'm going to say it. I, I don't care who the company is. I'm not getting paid by any of these guys. So uh, whenever they do good, I'm going to say it. Uh, you know, you know, just, just give me a good figure and, I'll, you know, I'll say it's good, uh, you know. So at a decent price. I mean, don't, don't also, you know, you at least got to be nice to your consumers as well. So anyways, guys, you know, I, I hate to be this sometimes, you know, like you said, I, you know, I'm not a shill or anything, but I think this is a perfect figure. It's a 5.0. I score from one to five. This is a 5.0. I'm going to buy four more of them because they're that good. Um, fantastic work here by Hasbro. I mean, they killed it with this one. They killed it with Snow Job. Um, so I, just, you know, it, it, which tells me executives get out of the way of this team. Just move out of the way. So and whatever they tell you. If you consistently continue to sell out of this product, get the hell out of the way so you can make more of it. And if the engineers and toy makers give you the pieces to make an amazing product, go find a way to make it work. It's it's their job to give you an amazing product. It's your job, and the, it's executive's job, the procurement's job, and the logistics job to go get the materials to make it all work together and then provide that to us at a, at a reasonable cost. I, because companies got to make money too. 
So, uh, I mean, I'm not saying giving it to us for $3 at Ollie's, but definitely try to give it to us at, at a reasonable cost. Make your money back and then a little profit, but don't try to kill us on it because then you get some, you know, I, as far as I'm concerned, I just won't buy it. But other people, you're just going to get some heat off of that like no other. Anyways, all that to say, great figure. Love this figure. I'm going to be buying some more of it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, you know, are you guys going to be buying it? Do you guys think it's it's a great figure as well? Do you? I, I didn't have this figure in my childhood, so um, you know, I only had like I said, uh, I think I had frostbite from the winter weather stuff. So, anyways, guys, thanks for your support. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, do so. Please do so. Uh, uh, don't forget to like if you're so inclined. And as always, thank you so much uh, for helping me grow this channel. Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to get. Uh, what, what are we now? 449 or something like that. Uh, appreciate it very much. And again, I'm just an amateur trying to engage the com community uh, and trying to, you know, have some fun, have some fun and maybe give away a couple of toys along the way and, and put some smiles on faces. In the end, it's just toys. In the end, it's just toys. So thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, as long as you guys keep watching, I'll keep rolling it out.